81. Hey, Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're going to ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? <sighs> OK. Follow me. I don't like it here. It's dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? You're very pretty. How did you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire, including Kata and you. But you have to surrender now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
What you got, Cassis? know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, Papa! Alright. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kata. I tried. Ah! <laughs> 
How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too. I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. Thank <laughs> you.
my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for what comes next. Not exactly what we expected, but this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the Hidden Path. And find the Anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. This belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. Then, kid, should we give it a shot? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, that's the spirit. Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick?
Decision is final. Master Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it. But it is not only his life we would risk. The ships are leaving. There is no time. I suggest you both join us. Good job. Time to see if that compass is still working. Why wouldn't it be? With my luck. It is a mechanical object. You have no control over it. Fair enough. Ready when you are. I just hope that compass still works. Ready to go, bud? Headed to Kobo's finest watering hole. God, you're gonna love Kobo. What's it like? Oh, lots of waterfalls. <laughs> Everything grows there. It's great. Don't forget Pyloon Saloon. Grease the owner. Is there music? Yes. And they love to take requests. Okay. I hope they have Trandoshan Funk. That's my favorite. We're here, Cal. Park it. Zig could knock this dent out if you'd like. Oh, no thanks. Helps me remember how I got it. And how's that? Bounty hunter. Made the mistake of pulling a blaster on my little girl. <clears throat> Can I confide something, Cal? Sure. Now, it ain't easy for me to admit, but... I'm a big fan of Ash's music. Cannot get it out of my head. It's catchy. They've got great taste. Why is that hard for you to admit? Well, I don't know. I got a reputation, I suppose. For being tough, alert, ready to do what needs to be done. But, wouldn't you know it? Deep down, I was just born to dance, Cal. Found myself humming a tune the other day, and... Well, customer thought I was out of my mind. Star. 
There you are. What are you doing? Peely is teaching me about her garden. She's got a green thumb. No, she doesn't. It means she's good with plants. Oh, okay. I like pruning best. Plants can't grow unless you prune a few leaves here and there. So she taught you too? How's Kata doing? To be honest, I'm not sure the kid's been around plants, but she does like to prune leaves. And there are always leaves to prune. Grace thought she might like it here. Nice to get some fresh air. Let me know if she needs anything. Of course, Cal. If you feel like doing some weeding, we could use that too. Maybe BD's up for it? Gotta be another way. Always an angle. Always. Most of family looking for a new one. Um, I can relate, Cal, but you gotta make a choice. The future or the past. Can't have it all. <laughs> Not in this galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Garakos. They fight to the bitter end, don't they? Especially when they're injured. Yeah, they do. A lot of beasts are like that. I learned the hard way on a family outing once. My first time leading. Tracked a Kivaroa back to its nest. It was killing livestock. No other choice but to put it down. Played the approach perfectly. Found an opening. Ah, uh, but my family was watching, so I decided to get a little bit fancy. Lost my concentration. One of its legs slams down, inches away from cracking my spine. Mama pushed it aside in the nick of time. And finished that Kivaroa, no frills. That's a close call. <laughs> yep. Hey, you corner something, it'll do what it needs to survive. Even when you have the upper hand, never underestimate your prey. How'd you get mixed up with the Bedlam Raiders? Whoa, well, I had a drink from Muck. Then another, then another, then another, then... Right. I stumbled outside and sort of confused one of the big raiders with a dewback. Don't tell me you try to mount him. Okay. But if I don't, that's the end of the story. I can see why the raiders try to kill you. Oh, they've got plenty of reasons. Oh, that cabbie, she is one cute kid. Yeah. You ever thought about having kids? Me? Uh, with kids? No. <laughs> no, I mean... Well, yeah, yeah, okay. No. No, wait, what was the question? I didn't think it was possible, but you're actually blushing. Oh, no, I'm not. This is not a normal color of my face. A very normal, typical color. I think the whole kid question is like gambling. If you're gonna bet, bet big. But if you're not feeling it, there's no shame in walking away from the table. That's actually good fatherly advice. You think so? Cal, did you hear? That fool Grok got done in by an Imperial patrol. Grok's dead? As a scrap heap. He even told the old bastard to be careful when he left. You sent him alone? I thought he could handle it. He was just nabbing a fuel injector. At least the fuel injector didn't take a single hit. That geezer sure didn't know his way around a payload. Guess you and Grok weren't so close, huh? No, this is what the old man would have wanted. Call it my bereavement tax. A bartender's job is never done. Barkeep. You look tired. Take a load off. The weather report is cloudy with a 100% chance of Star Destroyer. Can't believe the Empire sent one all the way out here. Indeed. Pretty soon you'll be able to count Empire-free planets on one hand. Hang in there, Monk. Reeves and I are working on something you might be interested in. He did mention something about a franchise opportunity. See you later, Monk. The Empire. So afraid of what it cannot control. Culture is our shield. But to them, it is a threat. 
Like what the Empire did to the Wookiees on Kashyyyk. So many traditions extinct. And yet, it might prove the Empire's downfall. An intelligent empire would co-opt the cultures it conquers, wielding it against their enemies. This one is rigid, obstinate. When the right threat arrives, it will be unable to adapt to it. Hope so. Not hope. This is known. The only question is when. You know, I came here for a change of pace. Now we got a Star Destroyer lurking overhead. I should just sample it for my new album, turn all that aggression into something creative. You sticking around Kobo with everything going on? Oh, sure. Sounds like a few people might bow out, and I can't blame them, but I've got art to make. There's something special about Kobo, a heartbeat. It's faint, but there if you listen, that's what I'm after. Cal, I've been meaning to ask, with the Empire everywhere, do you think Rambler's Reach has a chance? It reminds me of something a friend of mine once said. One of the wisest men I've known. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. I believe that to be true. But things are probably going to get worse before we can make them better. Yeah. But that does not mean I'm going to let the Empire destroy Kobo's history. And I guess there's still hope, isn't there? Say, Cal, what do you make of this place? It's not too shabby. Lots of potential. Yes, well, anything has potential if you squint hard enough. What about you? You seem to spend a lot of time here. What do I think? I'll lay it out for you. This place violates about two dozen business fundamentals, giddily deploys false advertising practices, Whittled with moles I daren't investigate. And yet, it serves drinks and doesn't close its doors when the Bedlam Raiders march into town. That's more than you can say for any other establishment on this rock. Busy, busy. These Imperials strutting around like they own the bloody place. That's what they do best. And you know who to blame, don't you? Who? That blabbermouth, Tom, who first let it slip that this here rock is brimming with river clear priorite. Put a target on our backs, it did. I bet those Imperials are using the priorite to construct some secret weapon or, or a, a palace. Be nice, BD. All right, laugh it up. We'll see who's right. We've done it! A tank thrown in with the finest fish! A tale told to the utmost! An innocent young boy's eyes opened to the wide galaxy! <laughs> Something like that. What's next for you? I've been asking myself just that. In catching my infamous annals, I've been... Ugh, something's gnawing at my head, slad. A black notion that perhaps... Just perhaps, one yek wet is me truly dead. For Sakavitar, and for my own peace, I must know. Perhaps it'll be tomorrow. Perhaps a year from tomorrow. But I fear I must pursue my dread nemesis one last time. I understand. Hey, if you ever need anything. I know, but I know. And I've got the compass. Well done. It's all over, is it? Or just the beginning. It's going to take a lot to get Tantalor ready for the others. Want to come with us? I appreciate the offer, but this cantina really has become a home. Glad to hear it, Z. What about us, Marin? 
What about us, Cal? I can't go back to the way things were with us. Nor can I. But things are not so simple now, are they? Were they ever simple? Perhaps not. But we will figure it out. Together. Hey, Cal. You got a sec? Hey there. Not now, dear. 